Hey guys, it's Elizabeth. I'm so excited to be with your, you here today because I am going to talk about one of my favorite techniques to help you get what you want. This is from the book, 78 Days of Transurfing by Vadim Zeeland. Um, I have the audio, not the audio, the Kindle book on my iPhone that I'm gonna read from. This is number 37, day 37. If you haven't read this book, this is a really good one to just help you remember some of the principles that Vadim talks about in Transurfing. Um, I have read this numerous times, but day 37, lesson 37, coordinating intention is one that during difficult times or any time I have been going through something, I know I've talked about my divorce and issues with my family because of the divorce is the example I always keep coming back to, but this is what really helped me so much. I actually printed this out. I copy and pasted this little snippet to a piece of paper. I printed it out and I taped it on my mirror. So every time I wash my hands, I looked in the mirror, whatever I was doing, brushing my teeth, putting my makeup on, I was reminded of this. It goes hand in hand with the advantage principle, with I talk, which I talked about in my last video. Um, but I'm going to just take a minute and read this for you and then break it down a little bit. So number 37, coordinating intention. The principle is, if you intend to look at events that seem negative in a positive light, right, that's advantage principle, then that is exactly what they will be. Remember, however bad things are now, a lovely surprise will come your way on the condition that you maintain coordination in the present moment. When faced with any test in life, tell yourself this, if it works out great, if it doesn't, even better. You know that your world takes care of you. And so if something has not worked out, it means that you have avoided other problems you cannot yet see. With this lighthearted mood, you can calmly go on a date with the destiny you are creating for yourself. From this moment onwards, whatever happens, remember, everything will be just as it should be. Okay, and then he goes on for the interpretation a person's life is made up of a chain of cause and effect relationships, just like any other movement of matter. In the variance space, the effect is always located close to its cause. Just as one is derived from the other, so nearby sectors of the variance space come together in a lifeline. Every event on a lifeline has two branches, one leading in a favorable direction and the other in an unfavorable direction. Every time you face any kind of event in your life, you choose how to respond. I've been talking about that over and over again on this channel for years. If you think of the event as something positive, then you step onto the favorable branch of your lifeline. However, the tendency towards negativity forces you to express your discontent and choose the unfavorable branch. As soon as something makes you angry, another unpleasant situation follows. Have you ever noticed this happening? It happens all the time. So just catch yourself. Don't fall into like a, a downward spiral when you see it happening. Just catch yourself. And then as soon as you catch yourself, say advantage, find that advantage. And then you start moving yourself onto that favorable branch. Uh, that is why troubles always come in threes. The chain of bad luck, misfortune that occurred, it follows on from your relationship to that event. The pattern is created by the choice you make when you stand in the fork in the road. The coordination of intention principle equips you always to take the fortunate lifeline. All right, so I know that sometimes when you're in that period of something going wrong, things are difficult, it's easy to get stuck there. And because things aren't resolving in the time expectations that you have, it feels like it's not working. But I will tell you from my own experience, 
And going through, like my divorce was almost three, I guess it was two years, but it felt like three. And by the time like everything resolved, it probably was closer to three. You, you feel like you're going in a downward spiral, but, but actually when you hold on to that advantage principle, you can't see how things are working out for you. So hold on to it. And then when you come out the other side, you'll be like, ah, aha, this is what it's all about. All right. So I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. If you have any experience or examples of how this has worked out for you, I'd love to hear that in the comments below. Uh, And I'll be posting more about this soon. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give me a thumbs up and also subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll catch you in the next video.